Today we're back at the Dollar Tree and we're going to be building the centerpiece to our fingerboard skate park, a planter box. You're going to need two square pitcher frames. I found this 3x3 and a 4x4 pitcher frame. These are going to work perfect. You're going to want to pick up a grass of this floral moss and if you can't find the floral moss, you can also use aquarium rocks. We're going to pick up some of this all-purpose wood glue and some super glue. The next step is you're going to want to take your bigger frame, add some glue, add the flower moss to give it that planter effect. Once the top part of the planter is all set, you're going to want to work on the bottom. So you're going to want to take your super glue and add a healthy amount to this bottom frame. Now we're going to assemble the pieces. You want to take the big frame, place it on the little frame right in the center of the bottom. You want to let the glue dry for about 10 minutes and once you're done you should have something like this. The last thing to do is apply some poster tack to the bottom, wax this thing up and then you're ready to shred. This thing is so fun to session for under five bucks it's my favorite build so far. And if you want to see daily fingerboard content including more Dollar Tree fingerboard builds be sure you're following me on TikTok and on Instagram. Tag an FB homie in the comments below and see you in the next video. Pull up a seat or in this case a bench and let's hang out for a minute because I'm back with another Dollar Tree fingerboard build. We're going to need a sack of Jenga blocks from the toy section, this little wood sign thing from the arts and crafts section, and this couldn't be a Dollar Tree build without the wood glue. The first thing we need to do is split the sign in half. I very carefully scored the middle piece of wood with a razor blade and it sort of just fell apart, but be careful not to apply too much pressure because you will crack this thing. Now you want to dab on a healthy amount of this wood glue, dab it up like you're the fourth member of the Migos. This thing will need about 30 minutes to dry, don't rush the process. Well that's dry and let's move on to the bench legs. Each leg or bench support is going to consist of two Jenga blocks glued together. You're going to need four bench supports in total. Once all the legs are glued together, put something heavy on top and let that sit for about 15 minutes. Once everything is dry, we can go ahead and start gluing on the supports to the bench. And again, don't rush the process. If the glue is not completely dry, your bench will fall apart when you try and session. Now we just need to wax it up, add some blue tack or grip tape to make it non-slip, and now we're ready to shred this bench. This build was super fun and super easy to make. I threw this all together for less than four bucks. And if you want to see more Dollar Tree fingerboard videos, tag a friend and let me know in the comments below. Today we're going to be kicking it at the Dollar Tree, looking to make a Dollar Tree kicker. You're going to want to pick up this four by six picture frame, and then you're going to want to pick up some poster tack. This build is super easy. You're only going to need two items from the Dollar Store. I've seen some really cool kicker ramps from the Dollar Store. Shout out to those people. But this one involves no glue and it's super easy. Anyone can do it. The one and only step to this build is applying poster tack to the bottom of the picture frame. Apply the poster tack in very thin pieces so the kicker remains flush to the surface you're seshing on. Apply nice, even pressure. Be careful, this is plastic, but you should be good there. If you're still having trouble getting over the lip of the kicker, you can apply some old duct tape or you can use an old sticker. As easy as this build is, I know what you're thinking. Does this thing actually shred? And absolutely. For $2.50, this build was super fun, and I hope these Dollar Tree videos inspire you to get out there, spend a little bit of cash, and have some fun fingerboarding. Today, we're making a fingerboard parking curb from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And because I'm an L7 weenie, I totally deleted the clip of me buying this love sign. And if you're going to do this build, definitely when you go to the Dollar Tree, look for the love or home sign that's less letters to break off. Now, this next step is all about patience. For you, this looks like five seconds, but for me, this was 10 minutes of just finessing that little sign off. If you wiggle the sign back and forth enough times, it will crack off nice and clean. Now, you are definitely going to want to keep this thing from sliding around, so you can use some blue from the Dollar Tree or some grip tape. And then once you get this thing waxed up, we gotta ask, does it shred for $1.25 and absolutely? Honestly, this has to be one of my favorite Dollar Tree builds because for $1.25, it took me about 10 minutes and this thing is perfect for the travel set. And even without the wax, being that it's a softer type of wood, this thing slides so good. Now, realistically, at this point, you're done with the build, but if you have some old paint laying around, you can definitely customize it to whatever color you like. I have red laying around and I think the red curb looks so dope. Send this video to a homie that's boarding on a budget. Today, we're at my most second favorite place in the world, the Dollar Tree. And we're kicking off season two with a DIY street light, arguably not an obstacle, but still an absolute must for any fingerboarder to bring a sense of realism to your photos and videos. The first thing you want to pick up is an LED clip light, a pack of stainless steel straws, you know we gotta have the super glue, and we need one of these random hollow wooden blocks from the wood section. The first thing we want to do is make a hole in the wooden block. It's not that hard, it's pretty cheap wood, so I just use a tech deck. And for step number two, that LED light we just bought, we're gonna break Breaking it. this thing absolutely sucked. It took about five minutes of bending back and forth, but it will break. Now this next part's gonna sound kind of sus, but you want to take the broken LED light and insert it into the mouthpiece of the aluminum straw. Mega pause! We're gonna add some super glue to the bottom of the straw. Now we're gonna insert this end to the hole in the box pause. And this wouldn't be one of my DIYs if I wasn't using way too much glue, so definitely pack on that glue. And now feast your eyes on this super realistic DIY street light and this buttery tray. This build was super easy and for five bucks, it's a must. Send this video to a friend, see you in the next video. A couple months ago, I posted this Dollar Tree rail and my first impression is that it shreds, but over time I realized this was a booty build. So today we're back at the Dollar Tree and we're looking for some redemption on this fingerboard grind rail. First things first, we're gonna need some super glue. Don't get the original, get the gel, thank me later. And then we're gonna head over to the electronic section. We're gonna pick up two of these phone holders that come with the suction cups already built in we need two of them. Lastly, for this build, we're going to need a pack of aluminum straws. Now the time has come to assemble these warlocks. Those cell phone holders we just bought, yeah, we're going to break them. We're going to break one side off. You got to bend it back and forth. This only looks like a few seconds, but it took me about five minutes. So don't ask me in the comments how I broke them because I bent it back and forth a whole bunch of times. So now that we got the little feet for our rail taken care of, now it's time to open the super glue and get the aluminum straw glued across the top. The glue is not going to bond these things together right away. I had to legit wait a whole day before I was able to session this rail. So be patient. But now the time is upon us to get this thing waxed up and get the session. This rail is so much more gnarly than the first version. And if you love daily fingerboard content, tag a friend below. Let me know what build you want to see next. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.